Welcome back everybody. Today I'm in Stouffville, Ontario, which is just north of the Greater Toronto area. Today I will be doing a complete store walkthrough. If this is your first time viewing my channel, please make sure to subscribe and look out for my weekly videos. If you're looking for a strainer, I definitely would recommend this one. I bought it on a previous visit and it works very well and it's very durable. This is a sheet slicer. It's made for vegetables and fruits. I did pick this up today. I did some online research and the reviews look great, so I'm hoping to make good use of it. If you're into classic Spider-Man, you might like these cups. I like these bowls. I think this would be great for a soup or noodles or even salad. These containers over here look pretty interesting and it looks like they are collapsible. This food container would be great if you're going to be going out somewhere on a trip, camping, a picnic. It's a good way to store some soup or some pasta on the go. Okay, so I noticed that that yellow bowl just doesn't seem to fit in here. Take a look. In my opinion, I think this is a dog bowl. Let me know if I'm wrong, and if it is a dog bowl, it's definitely in the wrong section. I purchased a memory foam pillow last year from Dollarama only to find out when I got home, it was super hard and very uncomfortable. These here are a different selection. They're very soft and very plush, so I might give this one a try.
I never really noticed how much of a great selection they have for baby products. This is a portable zipper pouch for your mask. Um, to me it looks a little small, I don't think it would fit the average size mask. Tree Hut products are supposed to be very expensive, so I would assume that this would be a good purchase. And now to the craft section. I think it's safe to say that this is everyone's favorite section. I actually remember seeing how popular these bracelets were when I was in elementary school. They always have a good selection of different paint options. I was really still searching for that 10 pack of tie dye, which I cannot find. This looks like it could be a nice little storage box that you can paint even for jewelry perhaps, but I should warn you it does have a little bit of a flimsy feel to it and that clasp I don't trust it. It just feels like it's going to break very easily. This is a very nice looking bullet journal. I know these were very popular about a year ago and then they disappeared, so it looks like they are back in stock once again. This is a nice little math set that comes with a calculator, compass, ruler, and a protractor. I hope I got that right, it's been many years since I've used that.
thanks for joining me everybody i hope you have a really awesome weekend again if you are new to my channel please make sure to subscribe and if you liked this video give it a thumbs up